so friends i'll take you to this process of kif creation first we do a ddup check right so i have told you this is the process how we have to do a ddup check the process of ddup check so here you can see 360 degree view and next to it is kif retail so when you enter click on this these fields come up copy entity edit entity entity queue new entity operations so all the negative checks due to checks or uh, blacklisted checks accounts checks is done through operations link here when you click on this these various sub heads open up here so here is ddup that is duplicate check suppose a customer is having any account already having an account with us so we can use the same kif id for opening of the further accounts to so click on kif retail main menu tab then operations click on operations tab then due dip check system displays retail search criteria screen so if nothing is there no record will be shown here so this is how it is due dip check so when you click on due dip check here you can see kif retail operations due dip check this screen appears while entering it clicking on this the entity type customer you will type here kif or lead when a lead is generated we check whether he is already having an account with us or not and when we are opening an account we check the we click on this remember this this button has to be clicked here right this radio button or lead is when we have leads we just want to check whether he is already having an account with us then we enter here last name here middle name if any preference unique id if any zip code city sole id we leave it blank so if id will generate here this is how we check a first name will enter here status will show here and start to date so from which date we are seeing this we click on this link here the calendar will appear gregorian calendar and you click on the dates you can see start from date and start to to date right so from which period to which period you want to check this so you can enter it here this is how due to check is done so on the screen you can see when you enter customer entity as customer and uh, last name first name right just enter these and you click on this submit submit tab is here so you can either submit and further screen will show whether record exists or not if the record is existing i'll show you the next slide screenshot where it will show the or advanced search is there print result you want to keep it for record yes this customer is already having an kif id with us right or you want to export it to ms excel for any information or for any mis purposes when you click on this submit next screen i'll show you where if the customer is already having an kif id this will show as it is now here you can see on the previous slide i had shown you customer last name first name or you can enter either of it selesh so all the accounts having selesh as first name will show here so as you will click on the submit button here submit link here this screen this lower portion of the screen will show you if the any kif id is there with this shalesh name so here this is kif id here first name shalesh suspend uh, suspended no negative blacklisted here this is the preferred contact number you can click on kif id if you click on this all the details that have been were entered while this kif id was created will will be showing on the screen which will see the other details of the customer so this is how due dip is done so as you clicked on this kif id you click on this a hyperlink this kif id hyperlink number this screen populates in the system this will show you what all information was there entered in the while that kif id was created so we will not be creating any further kif id so here you can see first is general details then demographic details 
psychographic details, other bank and credit card details, and trader finance. In case we are opening a current account, we enter as trade finances related information. Basic info. So in general, we enter basic info. Basic information means if he is a male or female, contact, his mobile numbers, identification documents, whether he has given us Aadhaar, Aadhaar card or PAN card or passport or voter I card, we enter all those numbers and details. Currency will generally be INR. Then household group details, suppose we are creating any household entity in case of family group, in case of corporate customers, tax certification details and counterface. So these are the information if already customer has entered all this data will appear here. So we can verify his information in case any changes are required. We will modify that KIF ID and further we can open the account with the same KIF ID because always remember customer can have only one KIF ID in the whole of the bank. He cannot have multiple KIF IDs in the bank. So similarly, we can check for any blacklisted customer or negative list customers as we have checked, dedupe check. So hyperlink is retail KIF ID. After that, you go on to operations, then various subheads as I have shown you earlier also, dedupe check, blacklisted. If he is there or negative, if the customer is on a negative list, then we will not open the KIF ID, we will not open the account of the customer. This is how this is. Done here. So this is how before opening of KIF ID, this process has to be completed. Only then we can open any KIF ID, whether be it retail or corporate KIF ID. Now next video, I'll be showing you how to create a retail KIF ID.